want to address something I'm getting a little tired of seeing, uh, this Alec Baldwin thing. Um, we all know, or at least if you know me, you know that I have two world records with the very guns that were used on that film, which are called single action guns. Basically, the only way you can shoot them is by pulling back the hammer and pulling the trigger. Hammer, trigger, it doesn't shoot like this. That's not double action. It doesn't have a clip. It loads through here, like this gun is a Ruger Vaquero. This is the type of gun that I use to get a world record, but it's also the type of gun that's used for, um, you know, cowboy films a lot, the Colt 45. Here's a problem I'm having. Okay, um, so everybody I know that is lashing out about what happened is saying, yeah, he should be, he's guilty, he shouldn't have done it. You don't point a gun at someone. Okay, first of all, you don't know movies, okay? I've been in this industry for 45 years. I trained, I've trained the best people. I am the best people to be able to talk to people about this type of gun because I know this gun backwards. What I know is this, is, is that he was, of course, he's indicted in regards to shooting the director or the cinematographer. The, here's a problem I have. Way too many politics involved, okay? We know you don't like Alec Baldwin. Who cares? I don't really care about him. I don't know him, I haven't worked with him. But my point is this, is that when an actor gets on set, they basically are told, here's the gun, it's not loaded, they run through the cylinders, they show it, they put a post through or a rod to show there's nothing in it. And then when an actor gets on set, their job is only to pull the trigger on the shot that they're supposed to do. They can't stand around doing like I do. They can't do Boys in the Hood or Cowboys in the Hood. They can't play with the gun. They can't even pull it out of their holster, whether it's real or not real. Fact of the matter is, is that yes, he is guilty because he's a producer or whoever on the project other than just an actor. But please do not mistake that an actor is supposed to get a gun that is not loaded, it's cold, and is supposed to do the action they're supposed to do. Now, there are maybe other situations around this, like for instance, I don't know if I would have pointed it straight, because normally, or as straight as the cinematographer, um, you would have probably pointed it off camera, because when you shoot, if you look at this, you're gonna see this angle. Now I'm technically pointed at someone, but I'm not. It's just the angle of the camera to make it look this way. My point is, stop treating this like it's a political thing or you hate the guy. Two roles he had, one as the producer. Yes, he hired Thel Reed's daughter. Thel Reed is like the man, the legend in this industry. He hired his daughter. That's her job as an armorer to make sure. People shooting off set, doing target practice, that's an issue as well. But if you know cowboys and you know cowboy films in Arizona, Texas, wherever, you know, outside the union world, a lot of times they're off there shooting guns because they got their guns after the set and they're using real guns. They're not using fake guns, they're using real guns. And so a lot of times they'll be shooting and doing the things. Not right, should not happen. I've seen this because I used to run the reenactors group around the country. People would be, I'd, I'd see people saying, oh, I know everything, my grandma, my, my father, my everybody, we all had guns, we know guns. And then they would take the gun and they would do something stupid like this or swing it around or they'd do, you know, cowboys in the hood or whatever the case may be. It's not a gun range, it's a movie set. It should be treated like the gun is always loaded. Fact is, stop treating this like Alec Baldwin was the actor that hates guns. We know that, we got it. We got his political views. Stop treating it like that and treat this like it is a gun. And the guns should always be treated like they're loaded. Okay, he's indicted. He's indicted, I believe, because he was responsible for that set. However, if you own a business, I got one, and you got employees that decide to go rogue and do their own thing or don't follow the rules, guess who gets to take the shit for it? We do, the people who hire those people. So I guess the note today is, make sure you hire people that know what the hell they're doing. Otherwise, you might be in this type of situation too. Thanks. I'll spin going out.